today, a defensive force. Right leg injury against Abilene Christian a couple of weeks ago. And so Virginia won the toss and elected to defer, and there will be no return from the BC Eagles. So we'll get a look at Grossell right away. And he's made plenty of stops here in his career for the University of Virginia. Sandir second on the team in tackles with 67. Grossell pursued and brought down. Well, and, and this is this is where you've got a backup quarterback who hasn't had a lot of action. Jerkovic knows that feel, that clock in your head as a quarterback. you got to get rid of the football. For Frank Signetti, the offensive coordinator, just got to be safe here, especially with a backup quarterback. They'll walk up and bring four. Going to throw from his goal line at the 30 in stride. That's Hunter Long who makes the catch. Hard short, and I beg your pardon, go get it, Grossell. Good blocking up front, nice protect, trying probably with the cadence to draw UVA off sides. Carlson the punt for the Eagles. That ball hit at about the 37. A flag is out. Billy Kemp was the return man. He never got to the football, but again, a marker. Kick catch interference. Kick continue number 11. 15 yard penalty from the swat of the foul. First down, Virginia. Missed the game against NC State, the only home loss this season for Virginia. Armstrong again trying to fight his way to the 35-yard line. Great linebackers playing in this one out of Duluth, Georgia. Armstrong. To about the 25-yard line. In 20 now. See Virginia. Very rarely are they penalized, but they've had trouble here. That one out inside the 20. And the catch is made at about the 16-yard line. John Jones. Yeah, it's almost not fair. The freshman, and he's not just a big possession-type guy. Always big. Let's throw it up there. Let him go. Been banged up a little bit, too, this year. 24 in the catch by Davis. This is a much more modest game. Billy Kemp. I went with Richardson because he doesn't have many more games left playing for Boston College. But both of them bring a load. Armstrong. That pocket crumbles, deteriorates, and he's pulled down. The guy who had his guy beat, he's looking to the right side, and it's a little bit too late when he notices. Loss of nine on first down. Pressure coming on Armstrong, and he gets sacked on consecutive plays. Jason Maitre comes in and sacks the quarterback. Third down and 27. Things look to be going pretty good, so the flags and the sacks started coming out. Loss of eight on the second consecutive sack. This out on the edge and complete. And Delaney, seven of nine this season. This a 38-yard attempt, and Delaney puts the Cavaliers on the board. Fortunately, his teammate recovered that fumble up there, hit his pads. By the way, for Levy, his 47th game in an Eagles uniform. Grossell's pass in a bit of a congested area at the 25, but to the very capable hands of his tight end and leading receiver for the Eagles. Powell, the defensive coordinator here for Virginia. Let's see what he's got on third and long. Grossell to throw it at the 40 incomplete. C.J. Lewis, number 11, he'll tell you what it is. Senior, as they pick up the blitz in the middle and do a good job of it, there's Levy stepping up. You get him in traffic so they can't do any damage on you, and Nick Grant knows where they're trying to run that route. 44% of the season on third down for B.C. That's fifth in the ACC, and it appears that they've got enough for another first down at the 40 with Travis Levy. Lewis was able to shake the defender, D'Angelo Amos but couldn't hang on to the football. Another play fake. Another pass. Deep ball. Zay Flowers in stride. And that's a touchdown for Boston College. Flowers got behind Nick Grant. And he's got the TD grab. 45 yards on the play for the Eagles. Start for Grossell. And a nice good play fake. They sell it. Get everybody biting. And it's just too easy against this secondary. That's what I'm talking about. Fly, Eagles fly. They're flying early. Seven rushing. Doesn't matter. 7-3 lead. Boston College. Shane Simpson, the deep man for the five. Simpson wearing that number 11 in honor of Charles Snowden. Breaks a tackle down the sideline. Simpson to the 30, gets by one man. Spins away and down to the 20. Senior linebacker, unfortunately, unable to go the rest of this season. 
and runs into the back of one of his own players and then a couple nice little moves for Simpson who usually wears the number 31 but wearing that number 11. Cavaliers for the season 82 percent in scoring Armstrong dragging some Eagles down inside the 10 yard line. Brandon Armstrong the sophomore from just inside the BC 9 on third and goal quick release to the end zone and it's incomplete. Looking for Lavelle Davis. Freshman go with 374 receiving yards. Not going to happen right there. Here's another field goal try. This one 26 yards away for Brian Delaney, and the kick is true. Senior day for the Cavaliers. Grossell comes out of the pocket, doesn't get far, did get the ball away. Kemp is the return man at his 30-yard line. Carlson to punt. It's a low liner driving Kemp back to the 20. Surveys the situation, tries to turn it upfield. Powers his way past the 30-yard line. Boston College thought it may have come out at the tail end of the play. The officials don't agree. They're just 37% on the season in this situation, 11th in the ACC. Armstrong sails this one too far. Couldn't hook up with Rashawn Henry. Right now, they're watching the Cavaliers trail 7-6. Grossell wants to unload. Sends this one down to the 30. Leaping catch is made. Jalen Gill got that one. Plenty for a first down for BC. And, Boy, and here's Nick Grant again. They, they're having so much trouble. Devontae Cross gets turned around, turns over the wrong shoulder, and then Nick Grant goes to try to find that ball. They're running for 53 yards and two touchdowns in the win against Louisville last week. That's inside the 20, and looks like it's going to be good enough for a first down, Travis Levy. Some pass can open up a lot of things in an offense. Rossell has the time through the progression. Now he's dancing around. He's that one down near the goal line inside the five, and Virginia picks it off. Pressure coming in the backfield in a hurry, and he just launches it up, and finally somebody wearing a blue uniform goes up and makes a play on that ball floating in the air, and it's Devontae Cross who's with the football when we return. Against Abilene Christian, where Armstrong threw four TD passes. He's off and running again. He gets cut down just short of the 35-yard line. To start the day, third on the depth chart. Thompson, direct snap, and he's on the B.C. side of the 50. Company said, come on up here. We got a spot for you, and they realized in his competing for the starting job that he was a heck of a runner. Receiver as well. 15 yards on that run. This pass is complete. Rashawn Henry. No B.C. defenders around him, and he walks into the end zone for the Cavaliers. Strike here, and, and, and we've seen it. There's the pump fake to draw some guys off, but you still got bodies falling down in the secondary. We saw it for Virginia earlier. Boston College, three of five on third down. Grossell moving to his right, pursued and throwing, deflected incomplete, looking for long. Defensively, everybody making plays as a senior for UVA. Billy Kemp receives it at the 31. Sidesteps one man and gets to the 39 or so. 2017, losing to Boston College 41-10 and allowing 512 yards of total offense to the Eagles. This is over the middle near the 40-yard line. Family earlier on the bump back from break from Lansing, Michigan. And look at the big man, six foot seven, 270 pounder, and just leaping over. Seventh in the NCAA from tight ends with 30 catches. There's an open man at the 10. It's Henry. Know what it's like. He does not celebrate for six points after a nice catch. Good job to find him there in that window in between. Two catches for 76 yards for Henry and a touchdown. Back into the red zone, Virginia. Fake on the play. Thompson to the end zone. And he high steps it in. He threw a little bit of a fake with the football and then just turned it upfield. Yeah, and you get guys going the other direction. They got to stay at home. The fake reverse. And now that's set up for later if they need it. 
or perhaps even next week against Justin Fuentes, Virginia Tech Hokies. They really need to keep this offense on the field. We'll get it. He'll slam it up the middle with Levy. It was the CarQuest Bowl. You remember that one? I don't remember that one. But I probably watched some of it. <laughs> In 94, BC won the CarQuest Bowl against Virginia 31-13. Play fake. Safety valve. Save Flowers wrapped up from Dennis Grossell. Back to pass. Grossell zips it in between the defenders. 35-yard line and caught. Good looking pass. Jalen Gill, the transfer from Ohio State. Kind of like Coach Halfley. Just there in the middle of that zone behind. 52 yards receiving for Gill. Here's Grossell again, trying to send it in the air. Got an open man and into the end zone. Hunter Long was wide open, and Boston College has a TD. 36 yards on the play to Hunter Long. The junior. There he is, lined up on the line. He's just going to run a little wheel route. And peeking back into that backfield is Nick Jackson, the sophomore. Who's got the responsibilities in a blitz like that, but he, he peaked after the little out, thinking he could peek back there on the out. If you can go down and put some points on the board, you've got a pretty good field goal kicker at the very least. Armstrong's pass into the BC secondary is intercepted near the 40-yard line by Muse. And he goes out near midfield, and a flag comes out at the end of the play. Of course, Armstrong to just launch this well there in a, in a hurry, and a great job just powering through. The result of the play is an interception. After the play, personal foul, necessary roughness, intercepted team, number 15. 15-yard 15 penalty, first down. Boston College now with 21 takeaways this season. That's third most in the nation. Levy is open over the middle. Gallup's past the 45-yard line to about the 47. Phil does, and able to sling that one out there, and then Levy does some damage. 11 yards for the first down. This one also goes out of bounds at the 35-yard line to Hunter Long. It's on target. Nick Jackson forced him out. He's good reps. Remember, this is the last regular season game, you know, hoping they'll play in a bowl game, but you never know. So big experiences here, too. That pass was caught as Lewis came back to catch it. Trying to cut that Virginia lead to three at the half. Bumeri rips that one through into the net and good. How about eight in a row for Bumeri? And he makes it from 35 yards away. Then the big go-to guys on third down. Armstrong has to exit the pocket up the middle first down, 38-yard line. Brennan Armstrong in the game against Notre Dame, a career high. Third down for Virginia. That's going to be short. Driven back. Negative play, Armstrong. Not the body type that you've got with Thompson. Able to stuff him and get off the field here defensively. Good job, BC. Nash Griffin punts. Jalen Gill meets it at the 18 with a head of steam and then gets pushed out of bounds. Miami and Virginia Tech. In with BC, this Flowers adjusting to the football, past midfield, down the sidelines, they'll whistle the play dead. Yeah, you've got some injuries, but, but Tom, this is just an, another great big bust defensively, and nobody there for Zay Flowers. You see a couple guys mi getting mixed up. Eventually, Cohen King's going to get over there. But still, these guys... Boy, and, and lucky that Zay Flowers wasn't able to... And just having a blast with these guys winning football games. Grossell wants to air it out down by the goal line. Fight for the football. Virginia says it has it. Wrestle for the football. And it was picked off in the end zone. Nick Grant. Because they weren't going up and making plays on this ball in the air. Go up and high pointed. These cornerbacks for Virginia are long. Long bodied, long limbs. Nick Grant's a senior, and here he comes underneath as that ball floats, and then it's who wants it more, the sophomore or the senior. Nick Grant comes away with it. 
and it's another interception. Armstrong put some sizzle on that one. The two BC defenders. Absolutely, Abby continues to play so hard for him and for his team. He's made big plays this year. Armstrong running up the middle of the field to get to the goal line, and he's in. Brennan Armstrong running away from the Boston College defense for the Cavalier touchdown. Out of a break, and here you go, the misdirection again, sending guys flying, and again, you've got another body on the ground taking advantage of it and taking advantage of the big blocking up front. Armstrong. Third and five for Grossell. Ooh, that was nearly intercepted as well. Six the other way. Way to turn into the defender. Carlson the punt. This is Billy Kemp. At his own 29, he'll go no further. Well covered by the Eagles. By Hunter Long to at least give his team a chance to punt it away. Armstrong. Complete Henry. 45-yard line, and then a group tackle by Boston College to bring him down. A couple of Delaney field goals as well for the Cavaliers. That pass is a strike near the 40-yard line. On the grounds when he was a Cavalier. 14 yards on the last pass play. Throwing on the run near the 15. There's coverage underneath. There's tight coverage on Davis. And look underneath, you got to throw it over the defender for the Cougars. Armstrong breaks a couple of tackles. Right to the end of the play clock. Just did snap that one. Armstrong over the middle at the 10. Pole jam. And he is now three for three. Just when Virginia looked like they were going to start pulling away in this game. Grossell. Flowers wide open near the 35. And now trying to get away from the defenders and get a little bit more. Diving for the 25-yard line. Zay Flowers, Dennis Grossell. Yeah, it looked like he was, he was playing center field right there from the former walk-on who actually passed up some baseball scholarships. Den an amazing record for the Eagles. This is going to be a negative play for the Eagles. Devontae Cross, who's got an interception tonight, is going to get a sack to go along with that. On his way to Grossell. Loss of seven. And, and again, another defensive back that they're blitzing that's untouched. We saw it a couple times. Well, here's your third and 17 now. But maybe that's what they need is just more space. Grossell has to run away. Throws this one into the Virginia bench. Is going to attempt the fourth down play. Grossell rifles this one. Oh, it's incomplete. For BC. BC put a real scare into then number two Notre Dame mid-November. Irish ended up winning that game. That's Kemp. Catch and run midfield. First down Virginia. Tala pop up the middle. That should be a first down two inside the 40. In his days at BYU as well, he's 0-3 against Boston College. I mean, he gets it up there instead of second and 12, it's second and two. They'll throw it on second and two. Down toward the goal line and in for the touchdown. Lavelle Davis on the catch. Room on the field is a touchdown. The previous play is under further review. And he's just so tough. Now, what'll be interesting if we can get a down the line shot. Well, the official to the left of what we're looking at right now is the one who came in and gave that first touchdown signal. As Davis, if it stands, that's TD catch number six on the year and the second in the game for Armstrong as far as TD passes are concerned. He, he keeps possession, James, with the right arm, right? First and goal, ruling Davis short of the end zone on the review. Into the end zone and a touchdown. Wayne Talapapa.
Slams it in from short yardage for Virginia to complete the drive. Why you that Robert and I used to have in the Polynesian kit strong as they go for two now trying to add to that 36. Back of the end zone incomplete Tony Poljan. Tip of the cap to our production crew all season long working so hard. Those women and men who spend many hours here at the stadium. That ball popped out. It's on the turf. Grossell was pressured. Matt Gam forcing the fumble. Uh -oh. And BC still has the football. Well, you can clearly see that that ball was on the turf. Grossell thought otherwise. And then Gam is on his right. And maybe Mahogany, number 73 for BC, covered it. It just went flying out of there, but... Loss of 10 on the play. Grossell pressured inside the five and sacks. He goes down. Mandy Alonzo, number 91 for Virginia. Turn on the Jets. Watch him right there in the middle. Just gets shoved out of the way a little bit, but when he changes direction, when he turns on the Jets for a big man, He's got a nice little burst, and he's got good hustle to him. I've watched him chase down a few ball carriers football game. Here he gets to the quarterback, a big drop. Fourth sack of the game for Virginia. Kemp runs towards his own bench. And But, you know, that's going to happen. It happened to Grossell on the other side a couple times. But he's had an outstanding night. Thompson carries it as we go inside of 10 minutes. Just want to call plays and keep it going and have fun. Shoot, <laughs> you guys get a stop. <laughs> Gill. And that's a fair catch, a penalty, and the ball right now at about the seven or eight. But regardless of the outcome this evening, Boston College has had a fantastic year. Part of the total number of 250 fans allowed into our game. It's better than none. Over the middle at the 50, there's Levy just running away to the 30. Coming out of the backfield. He trips up trying to get out of the traffic. and do Coming off the win last Saturday against Louisville at home. Sixth win of the season for the Eagles and fifth ACC win. Hunter Long over the middle. Grossell to the 15-yard line. It's a strike and a first down. Yeah, here's Galloway. Found him late. <laughs> Wants to pass again, Abby, to the end zone for Boston College. And a touchdown for the Eagles. Zay Flowers has his second TD grab of the game. But when you're 5'11", you can get out of the way of trouble as you see the hit that Grossell took. But that wasn't the case with the big six foot seven receiver Davis. Third TD pass of the game for Grossell. Second one to Flowers, 45 yards, and the 15 yarder just a second ago. This at the goal line, he hits him again. Flag on the play. Flag on the play on the BC two point conversion try. Three of nine on third down. This is third and short. They're just going to move that pile. And Pyle drive it forward with Thompson. This is Thompson. He wants that direct snap. It's first down and more. Right up the middle to the end zone. Thompson. Touchdown, Thompson. Touchdown. Oh, very proud of the shape that his football team is in. And that offensive line, look at him right there. Showing you how strong and what good shape they're in. Blowing those guys up front off the ball. And for Boston College here in Charlottesville. Grossell down the sideline. <laughs> Flowers. <laughs> wow, how about that throw? This throws as good as it gets. Good protection up front and just slings that sucker. Drops it right in there over the defender. Grossell again. And that's intercepted. Amos has the interception for Virginia. All have interceptions in that Cavalier secondary. Yeah, he's eyeballing that receiver the whole way through, looking for his big man, Long, who he's hit so many times here tonight. 
back in the day. Heath Schuler used to wear that 21 at the University of Tennessee. But it's, uh, it's kind of fun to see some numbers. It's fun to see that zero. Social media, of course. And I, well, it seems like almost long before telephones when you hear the story that he went home after their Holiday Bowl victory back home to Hawaii and was was surfing for about a week. Ono Moku, I think, I, think, oh, I hope I don't butcher that name. But he, because he was a uh, an Olympian swimmer as well, but the uh, the father of surfing, they when they built a statue, they used Robert and I to stand in for the sculptor who did his surfing statue uh, back there that's still there today. I has thrown for 511 yards through the air in three TDs. Now, Grossell does have three interceptions. He tries the end zone again. Galloway, touchdown, Boston College. How did Jelani Galloway catch that one in the end zone for BC? Isn't coverage cross? I mean, that... that. He just drops it in there where it's, it's and, and you're running out of real estate, so there's nowhere else. Moving on the field is a touchdown. The previous play is under further review. Yeah. So the question will be, does he have control of that football? Ruling is a touchdown on the it field. It looks like the knee hits, right, James? Well, it's, it's just watching that football, and does Left he control knee? it? Like, is that considered control right there? Yeah, it's not tucked away, but it's not moving. So I would say he has control. Watch the ball right here. What a throw and catch combination, regardless of the outcome. If it stands, it's 10 yards, James. Cavs, they got to the quarterback, Sam Howell. Let's see if they go square dance style with this onside kick again. Last time it didn't work. Second try, they'll go straight ahead. BC may have this. A couple of Eagles think they have it. They went with the straight ahead little roller. Boy, it was nice, but I just wonder if they, they touched it early before it went 10. Would yeah, got to go, gotta go the 10. You're right, James. But it hit just like you wanted it to, but they were a little bit early, I think, as they try to sort it out. Yeah, they sent it right up the middle. Boston College has the football. I just saw an indication from Marcus Woods, the referee. And they've got it. Josh DeBerry. Yep. The ruling on the field is Boston College recovered the kick. The previous play is under further review. What an incredible guy, as many of these Boston College fans know. Great guy to have around this program. And Later tonight, about a half hour. Final seconds will take off the clock, and Dennis Grossell and the Eagles come up just short. 43-32. Pretty good night for Armstrong as well. 287 yards passing in a TD.